Hey Samuel, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota mate. Just want to run over this Hilux Workmate with you. Um, like I said, we can easily get this down to Brisbane for you. Um, but mate, a bit about us, Pacific Toyota. We run two large premium uh, used car vehicle yards. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, quite a large location. We actually run one of the largest pre-owned vehicle operations under the Toyota banner. Um, look, we also offer finance options should you need it, um, as you can see there, um, it's all through Toyota Financial Services. Um, the best thing about Toyota Financial Services is they're the largest automotive financier in Australia, um, so they get really competitive rates. Mate, that's our new vehicle uh, location just across the road there, so um, Pacific Toyota do anywhere between 130 to 150 uh, brand new vehicles into cans, um, then you've got our Lexus dealership just to the, to the right of that, um, and our large service centre. Right, back to the vehicle itself, um, so the uh, Workmate uh, Hilux being a 2017 model, um, I'm pretty much just going to go over the condition of it with you um, and show you as much as I can about the car. Right, um, as for the front bumper, there is one little nick just here, um, nothing too major um, to be expected, especially for the front of the vehicle. Um, this is usually where you see little rock chips if you are doing any highway driving. Uh, mate, um, all in all, there's a few little marks just there on the bumper. Um, nothing too strenuous or major. Um, another one just here itself um, that you can see. Um, so all nice and uh, nice and easy. Um, just looking around the bonnet as well, uh, being the fact that this is usually where you tend to find most of your chips. Um, but as you can see, just really good quality. Um, it's been really well looked after, which is a credit to the previous owner. Um, as you can see, I'm literally trying to find some uh, uh, points on here so I can show you. Um, is that a mark? No, that came off. Um, so that's perfect. What's that one there? There's a little bit of a mark just there that we've had um, brush touch. So I'm just going to see whether you can see. Yep, you can see that there. Um, so nothing too major. I barely spotted it. Um, as we come around, as you can see over here, it's really well looked after. There's a little bit of a mark just here. Nothing too major. Another one just there. Pretty standard, obviously, uh, with the wheel. Um, with the tread on there, plenty of tread, as you can see. Um, I can get my finger right in there. Um, so you've got plenty of tread on the, on the tires. Um, inside, the chassis, as you can see, it's been really well looked after. Um, it's all very clean, which is what you want. Um, just means everything's working smoothly. Um, just show you around the rim, so it hasn't been scuffed, it hasn't hit a gutter or anything like that. Um, it's just what I'm trying to show through this. Sides of the car, so a little bit of a, a ding there um, on the side door. Just for that perspective, I'll zoom out so as you can see, the camera probably made it look quite big, but it's uh, probably the size of a 10 cent coin, um, and actually, it's smaller than a 10 cent coin. Um, inside the car itself, door card wise, um, like I said, it's all been really well looked after. Um, they're quite hardy. This is all a hard plastic in the Hiluxes. The only real fabric part is this part just here. Other than that, it's all hard plastic through everything else. So it's really good, easy wearing. Um, so you don't have to be too careful with it. Um, it will look after itself. Um, vinyl floors, so as you can see, really good, clean. Um, dash itself, once again, it's a nice, durable um, plastic. So it's, uh, it hasn't got any marks on it and obviously really well wearing. Um, I'll just move that there. Um, so the seats itself, as you can see, it's got the more uh, harder wearing uh, fabric in the center uh, with the more cushiony uh, sides to it, which kind of act like a, a bucket seat almost. Um, so that's that there. Build date on it, um, so fifth month 17. Um, and the good thing about the Hilux is actually run the, um, the paneling for your scuff pad pretty much out to the edge so if you're getting in and out of it, it just stops the boots from taking off the paint over time um, as we come around so I'll just show you inside the tray so all in all been really well looked after looks like it did have a toolbox underneath it hence the there are two holes just here so I'll just try and show you a bit better so it looks like it had a toolbox that would have sat underneath here um, at some stage um, underneath as you can see all really well looked after in there. Brilliant vehicle, that's the top of the fuel tank. Uh, fuel filler just there, um, all the way back to the rear wheels. Once again, plenty of tread, as you can see in there. Um, and just checking the rear rims, there's no dents around them. They've, 
haven't hit a gutter or anything like that. They've been really well looked after. Um, as we come around, you'll see the tow bar at the back. So the tow bar runs a seven pin flat plug um, through there. Um, and it's got the square hitch on it, so you can easily just remove the pin if you need any other hitches on it. Um, spare wheel looks like it's never been used because I can still see the, the riveting on it, so that's all there. Um, I'll just zoom back so you can sort of see the rear of the ute. There you go. We'll come around the sides. Once again, I'll just show you another angle of inside the tray. It's all in all. Um, there is a couple of marks, but to be expected. Um, rear of the vehicle. As you can see, the chassis is all really well looked after. It's all in really good condition. Tires, plenty of tread. Just check that rim again, make sure there's no dints or scratches around it. That nah, perfect. We'll come back up to the driver's door. So this tends to be the main area um, where you'll find a few little bumps and bruises. Um, as you can see, you've got your standard little fingernail marks in there, but they're pretty faint on these. Um, a little bit of a um, chip just here. It's usually from keys getting in and out um, and locking the car. Just trying to show you all around the sill there, um, all the way up to the front tyre. So once again, the same as the other side, a few little uh, chips there, nothing too major. Um, all pretty standard for this age of vehicle. Um, inside, really well looked after. And once again around the the rim just to show that there's no dints or bruises around it so it hasn't mounted a curb or anything um, so just inside here door card for the driver's side so obviously this is the side that's used every time um, so just showing you where that it's all in really good condition all under here so nice and nice and well looked after all the seats. I'll just show you inside as well um, and turn it on. So, the car's been really well looked after. It's got a full service history, which I'll run over with you shortly. At, uh, as you can see, 31,925 on the clock. It's, um, it's really well looked after. Got your touchscreen display on here as well. Um, so that's all out there. Um, as you can see, you got your FM radio, it's all touch screen, so nice and easy. Um, and then you come down to your standard air conditioning system. Um, so if you've ever seen the manual controls, you'd be pretty familiar with this. Um, and then you got your USB and auxiliary um, and traction control off button. Um, obviously being an automatic, so you've then got your reverse, neutral, drive, manual mode. When you're in manual mode, obviously down the gears, up the gears, um, all nice and easy. You do have an eco mode and a power mode, so obviously eco mode speaks for itself. Um, it's about saving fuel. Um, how it does it is it will not provide as much power. It will give you slower throttle response. It will only run the air conditioning at 80% um, capacity. Uh, all things like that really to save fuel and take load off the motor. And power mode does quite the opposite. Um, it obviously gives you everything the car's got on offer. Um, as far as storage is in here, you do have uh, two storage compartments. One and two um, and then you've got your center console just here um, as well as that you got the nice cool um, cup holders so basically you just open that up straight out your cup holder you want to use a storage just knock that one back and a nice little storage container there which is handy um, with service books um, it's been really well looked after so it was serviced at 10,000 k's or 9,700 service at 21,100 service again at um, only 26,000 and service again at 31,922 and that was serviced by us here at Pacific Toyota um, so as you can see uh, 922 that was only literally done uh, three kilometers ago and it's not due now until 41,000 k's if I can see that there yeah 41,000 um, so that's perfect what I'll do is I'll do one last walk around to the outside of the ute um, and basically that will conclude the, the video tour of the car. So I'm just going to show, this, show you this again.
Okie dokie. Well, Samuel, any questions that you have, please give me a call on 0410 839 933. Thank you.